Hey there, it is a July day, <laughs> end of July, middle of a heat wave, super hot day, but I went to the garden center and I don't know, some of the perennials were on sale and I just, I couldn't say no. I had to get them. So these super cute um, Caramia cone flowers were on sale and I thought they'd be perfect to add to my little perennial section. Um, they're height 16 to 20 inches. They get full sun um, and they're just like a really big attractor. They need full sun. <laughs> they're just a really big attractor for hummingbirds and butterflies zone four through um, nine. So yeah, really pretty. Let me show you upright coneflower. I just thought these were gorgeous. And I thought, you know what? I'm gonna plant them. And I just, I'm gonna put them in a few different spots in the garden. And I think they'll just be so fun. Excuse the hose, it's so hot today. So I'm watering everything. But I also got this beautiful foxglove. I mean, look at this. And this is a really interesting one because this is part of the um, Arctic Fox ro uh, Rose. This is an Arctic Fox foxglove. And the fun thing about them is that they're a like true, true perennial. So they won't, like they're not a biennial, you know, usually foxglove you plant one year, they flower the second year. But this is a true perennial that will come up and um, just flower every year. And I, it's, it's totally the tones that I'm looking for in the garden right now. I think it's just stunning. And the plant was in pretty good shape. You know, sometimes when you're getting perennials this time of year, they like are kind of on the edge, right? You know, like some of them aren't looking so good and, um, you can get some really great deals, which is awesome and definitely worth it. But you just, you know, you don't always find like the best looking plants. But I was so excited to find these because I think they just look gorgeous. And how pretty is this together? Like those colors together. Stunning. Oh, and look, the bees have already found them. So this is a sun to part shade. And I'm gonna see if I can gingerly work my way around um, this cucumber plant. I might move it a little bit and put it in the corner of this bed. As you can see right now, it's in shade, um, but it's kind of still morning. And then it'll get afternoon sun. So I'm curious, hopefully that will be, um, yeah, that will be like the right lighting for it. We'll see if I can kind of move this cucumber way. The roots, actually the plant is planted over here. So I think there's room to gingerly negotiate that. And I think that'll be really pretty in the corner of this bed. I have been picking up so many perennials. I just, I've been so excited about them. These are a really gorgeous um, couple. This is a Rubecchia. I think this is, let's see, I put the tag here. Blackjack gold. So that's a really pretty one. And then I have a Heliopsis. I think this is called like Midnight something. Just so many stunning perennial varieties right now. It's so much fun. Um, and I'm just, yeah, I've been so interested in seeing about all the ones that I can add to my garden. With that in mind, I've been taking out a few um, perennials as well. So I had, um, a couple plants of dahlias. There are Figaro mix dahlias. They were the dahlia that I started from seed, a seed dahlia. And they're just getting absolutely destroyed by spider mites. You can see it over there. Ugh. It's just looking terrible. And I've got a few in this other section over here. And I think I'm just gonna remove them. I think it's just not worth it to me to have something that's gonna be that decimated um, every year. I might leave like one of them in there, but yeah, it's just too much space to devote to something that's gonna get um, destroyed and then look terrible, you know? It's mid-July, so we aren't really ready for anything to be looking terrible, terrible right now. I'm also gonna do some watering because I just saw one of my zucchinis needs water and it's gonna be a hot day. So I'm gonna water, I'm gonna plant, 
I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so it's actually the next day, but I was having trouble figuring out where I wanted all of those um, plants to go. And let me turn you around. I'll show you where they all ended up. So the fox glove is looking so adorable in the corner of this bed and it gets perfect parts on. I was kind of watching the sun yesterday and trying to see how long it was, you know, actually hitting this corner and it definitely gets a good four to six hours. So that's perfect because that's like the part sun. Um, so that should make that box glove really happy and it looks so pretty. Oh my gosh, with all the other flowers, it's just so gorgeous. And then I ended up putting two of the Caramia um, cone flowers into containers, which I really like as well. I think that that um, works out well. I was looking into this variety more and they were saying that these are like a super, super long blooming cone flower. They'll bloom from June through September, which like, that is amazing. And I mean, you really can't ask for much more than that, even if you had an annual. That kind of bloom time is about as good as it gets. I mean, that's just, that's a really, really great bloom time. So I thought, you know what, putting them in some containers, I'm gonna try to overwinter them in the containers and that might be just like a really a fun thing to have. So I've got those um, in there and I love it. I think they add like a really fun little pop. They look like these little, I don't know, cupcakes. And then the other two are over here in um, the landscape. So I've got the one that I tucked in in my perennial section and I think it looks really pretty next to the dark foliage of that snake root plant. So I really liked that. And then the other one I threw over here in this a mix of cone flowers that I've got going. So I've got a green twister and some Cheyenne spirit and then now the Caramia. And I think it looks really nice next to that salvia. Can you see the, um, let me get closer. Look at that yellow next to the blue. Stunning, I love that. So that'll be a fun combination. Um, and that's, that's where they ended up. I just wanted to give you a little update on some fun things that I'm planting. I, yeah, I just absolutely um, have been, as I've been saying in all these videos, like just adoring these coneflowers and rebecchias. They're so great for this time of year, but some of them are really long blooming. So it makes sense um, even to use in containers and to use where you would uh, use some of the annuals. Um, they they really are a great option to have as well as like a complement, so you can kind of have multiple things. I'm really sort of interested in that and I'm excited to see how they do next year in the containers. That'll be really fun um, and really interesting. So. Thank you so, so much for watching and hanging out in the garden with me a little bit on these hot July days. Um, I hope you are staying cool and enjoying your garden. I'll talk to you next one. Bye-bye.